RC Maniacs. Hey guys, welcome back. So, got a Timu find here today actually. Did not pay a lot for this. It was on sale and I had some uh, credits from some other stuff that didn't live up to uh, my expectations. So I uh, put in some complaints and got some credits and I used them towards this. And yeah, it's supposed to be brushless. It says brushless all over this thing. Brushless, 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 brushless. Maybe not on this side, but wh whatever. Uh, and it said brushless on the listing and in the description and everywhere where I looked, it said brushless. But then I looked here to get a pro version and a yeah, like standard version. And I've got the yellow one and you can see it's not under uh, what's listed as pro. So I got a bit suspicious when I saw that. And yeah, this is it. And I got some nice features, no doubt about that, but it's not brushless. It's brushed. And I can't really complain for what I paid for it, but it has gone up in price since. It's like $120 now, and I would not pay that for a brushed basher. But yeah, it's a brushed, brushed basher with a really nice body. Friction shocks, unfortunately. Uh, a couple of a set of oil shocks on this would make this almost epic without exaggerating too much because i really enjoy this one of the most enjoyable budget bashers i've tried in a while actually even more so than the sushi u brand they are about the same size 116 scale so i i had a really good time with this you can see it's a really nice detailed body, really wide stance as well. So it's pretty stable, bouncy like I don't know what because of the friction shocks. And uh, otherwise, really fun little basher. I drove this uh, in a really rough, uneven terrain, lots of roots and bumps and stuff like that. And it handled really well considering the shocks. If we were to fit some proper oil shocks, this would have been really, really good on that kind of surface. But it handled all right as it is. Not sure why it's a wheelie bar on this thing, because it's nowhere near wheelie speed. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And we can have a close look at it. So we've got some half decent components in here. We got a brushed 380 size motor. Also got a five-wire servo, which isn't too nice because, well, it's a lot harder to replace or upgrade a five-wire servo than a three-wire servo. Got some LEDs in the front as well as on the roof. A nice little LED bar on the roof. Got this honeycomb chassis, which is really nice. Feels really sturdy. Really enjoy that. Some really sturdy and nice shock absorbers in the bumpers as well. So overall, a really nice little budget basher. I think I paid 50 bucks for it and it's definitely worth that. But it's not worth the 110 that it's listed for as, as of the recording of this video. I haven't checked today, but I checked yesterday and it was like $110, which is a lot. You can get one of those HyperGo MJX HyperGo brushless ones for that so and uh, it comes with a 2s lithium ion a really weird like yeah that's made for this car only i've seen some other brands use this I, i'm not a fan it fits really nice in there but yeah and of course you can use whatever you want as you can see the connector there it's not impossible to fit a standard battery in there so it's quite a large battery compartment actually so yeah overall i really enjoy this i'm going to upgrade this it definitely feels like it's worth putting some oil shocks on this and uh, i do recommend it got some nice features as i mentioned a really nice body with some drivers in there as well 
not scale, but it looks really cool while driving it. Also got these body pins that, that are attached with rubber straps to the body, which is really nice. And it just feels like nice quality, actually. So I, I do recommend this if you can find it for 50, 60 bucks, maybe even 70, but not much more. So yeah, enjoy the footage. I had a lot of fun uh, driving this and I hope you enjoy the footage and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Should I buy more stuff off of Timu or yeah, just let me know what you think. And of course, subscribe. There's some cool new stuff coming soon as well. Got a new truck from uh, HBX high boxing coming. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. So I found my old GPS and I'm just going to do a quick speed run. Got the lithium ion in there. And we got 26 kilometers per hour. So now I've got a little 2S, whoa, LiPo in there, 1300 milliamp 2S LiPo. Could have fitted a bigger one, but that's the one I found. It's a lot more punch, almost need a wheelie bar there actually. Get it in here. Still got the same top speed though, but a lot more punch. Lots of grip on the grass who actually need a wheelie bar with the lipo.